This is the second time I'm filming this video because I filmed a video all about the Huda Beauty Nymph body highlighters, all over highlighters, and I really felt like I had more to say after using them, so here we are. I scrapped that entire video, so if I leave some important details out, just know that they're in the description box because doing this over again, I don't know what I'm going to miss. But I felt like it was important to redo this because I initially talked about this just as a body highlighter and then the next day I went ahead and used this mixed with my foundation and I have a whole separate story to share with you guys. So thanks for being patient with me. I know that I'm late on this. These are actually available now when you're watching this video. I wasn't able to get the video out before the launch because I don't know. I just feel like I'd rather put out quality than quantity. So here we are. Before we dive into the pros and cons of the Huda Beauty highlighter, I do want to do a little giveaway in this video. It's been a while since I've done a notification fam giveaway. So I'm going to have two winners today. If you want to win a Glow Motion from Sol de Janeiro, I have two I'm giving away today. One is Copacabana Bronze and the other is Samba Sway. I feel like a lot of the time with my giveaways, the products that I give away are more suitable for people that have the same skin tone as me. These are going to be for deeper skin tones and I feel like that's only fair. I really want to be able to mix it up and you know give things away to people with all different skin tones. So today if you guys are deeper than me these will work really great for you. So if you want to enter this giveaway and future giveaways just keep this in mind. Make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell turned on because in order to win you have to like this video, be subscribed to my channel, and comment on this video within the first 12 hours of it being up. Spoiler alert, Sol de Janeiro is my favorite body glow product so that's why I'm giving those away. So getting into the review, I do have one thing I want to say about this product that drives me absolutely insane, and that is the packaging. The packaging is really pretty. It's plastic, so it won't break, but the caps absolutely suck. I will be throwing away all of these caps because they just fall off, and I'm tempted to grab this out of my collection when I'm going to go grab it by the cap or near the top, and this is not on there at all. Like, what is the point? I've dropped these so many times over the past few days. I am vlogging and you guys probably saw it in my vlog. I dropped them twice in the vlog and I've dropped them so many countless times in my first review and I'm just, I'm so over the packaging. These are $49 body highlighters so they are fairly pricey and they do come with a lot less than typical body glow products but I feel like that is because these are packed with pigment. They are very, very pigmented. It has 1.85 ounces in it. Your typical body glow product has around three. If we're talking about Fenty, I believe Fenty is three or more. And Sol de Janeiro, my favorite, has 2.5. So if you're going to compare the Sol de Janeiro and the Huda Beauty, this one has 2.5 ounces for $35. This one has 1.85 for $50. So you're getting a better deal with this. But I don't feel like like this works as well mixing with foundation as this does so it really depends on what you're looking for I'm just gonna let you guys know right off the bat for body oil body glow body shimmer I prefer the Sol de Janeiro and for mixing with foundation I prefer the Huda Beauty another favorite of mine is the RCK body glow this is from Ofra Cosmetics and you can get it for $31 with a discount code and this has five ounces in it my shade is universal that's my favorite shade but they do come with with three shades and now Sol de Janeiro I think has like five. So here are the three shades of the Huda Beauty Nymph all over body highlighter. The lightest is Luna, the middle shade is Aphrodite, and the deepest shade is Aurora. I feel like the bottles make the product look a little bit lighter than it is. It's actually a little bit deeper. So the only one that really works for me is Luna. I feel like Aphrodite, the middle shade, is just a little bit too dark for me right now, but it might work if you have a deep tan. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to swatches of these so that you guys can see the color comparisons and then I'm going to demonstrate how I like to use this product. So here are the swatches Luna, Aphrodite, and Aurora. As you can see Luna is the lightest. Aphrodite kind of has a topaz kind of look to it and the Aurora has a copper deep bronze look to it. And then just for comparison I went ahead and popped on the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sun Set, which is my favorite shade. As you can see, this one is oily and sheer. And then here is the RCK in Universal. This is more of a lotion or cream. 
and then these are more like a liquid highlighter or liquid eyeshadow consistency one thing I did forget to mention is that for body application Huda Beauty does have a brush this is the body and blur brush and I honestly love this thing but to be honest with you I love it with other products more I really recommend this for body glow application I just prefer other body glows so this retails I believe for $33 and I really do love this brush now I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation because that is how I like to use this product I think it's such a beautiful mixer for foundation and typically I will let you guys know I mix in cover FX custom enhancer drops in moonlight so I'm very very seasoned when it comes to mixing things in with foundation and this functions really well in that way I tried to use this over top of powder like popping it onto my cheekbones after a completed look is done and that absolutely does not work and that is why I do not like it for all over body application either the problem I have with that is that it dries down so quickly where you put it that you have to actually buff so hard to get it to not be streaky or clumpy or patchy so for body glow I prefer something that shears out very easily all over the body doesn't leave streaks and doesn't have as much pigment as this has. I will try to demonstrate that with you guys, but I want to share what I love it for first. I start off with a little bit of L'Oreal True Match, and this is in the shade N4. I've been struggling to find my shade lately. You guys called me out on my Jeffree video and let me know that my foundation was a little too yellow, so I'm trying to hop on over to the neutral side of things. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the plate. Now this color is just a little bit too dark for me, so I add in my LA Girl Mixer. This is Foundation Mixing Pigment in the shade White. I add in a little drop right in the middle, and a little goes a long way with the Huda Nymph, so I'm just going to pump one pump into this mixture, maybe a pump and a half. So there's what our little mixture looks like, and I will swirl it all together and apply it to my face. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty sponge, which by the way, I'm obsessed with, and I'm going to mix that together on the plate. That's what it looks like mixed out. As you can see, it's not glimmery or anything crazy, and it just looks like a nice luminous consistency. And I'm just going to tap this on either side of my face, my chin nose, forehead, and just blend this out. It smells like coconut, it smells like the beach, so that's one reason I really do love it. I just can't lie and tell you guys that I prefer it for my body because I really, really don't so far on its own. I do need to try to mix it into lotion and see if that kind of helps to keep it from drying so quickly, but I love the summer vibe I get as I'm blending this out and I can smell the coconut. I really recommend mixing highlighter in with foundation if you haven't tried it yet. It's such a natural way to get that glowing finish. I think you guys can see the effect that it's giving me. I just look like a freshly baked turkey. So that is the literal perfection that I'm talking about with mixing highlighter. Like I just, I'm obsessed with the finish that I have on my face right now. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I'm going to use concealer. I switched over to the shade C12 in Jeffree's concealer because you guys ripped me apart for my undertone being wrong. But I still like C9. But I'm just going to use a little bit of this under the eye. This is essentially the same thing I did on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I really, really enjoy doing short videos over there. And it kind of gets my point across without having to post like a 20 minute video. If you guys try this foundation mixture, I highly recommend going out during golden hour, like when the sun starts to set. And if you've ever wondered how people get those photos, wear something like this in your skin and have like a pop in highlighter over top. A powder highlighter I recommend and go take your pictures I think you're gonna be blown away okay but that's it for the liquid that's how I mix this in with my foundation I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back to share why I don't like it on the body all right so I'm back I will list down below what I'm wearing on my face in case you guys are interested also a majority of them are over on my Instagram video but I want to try to explain why I don't like this for the body before I wrap up this video, even though you guys probably have the gist of it. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate Luna on my body. So I'm just going to do this like chest and collarbone area like I normally would. I'm going to do one little pump on this brush. So there's one little dot of product and I'm going to try to buff this out. As you can see, a little does go a long way, but this is like Tin Man vibes. This is not... Um, Rihanna vibes. This is like 
pigmented enough to be like eyeshadow. The one thing I will say is I'm not a leg person. I don't show my legs because I don't really like them. But this is meant to give a blurring effect to your skin and I can kind of see and feel that. But I don't know if you guys can tell this is very streaky and very hard to blend. It just takes a lot of effort and it's a lot more pigmented than I want it to be. So using the same brush, I'm going to do one pump of the Sol de Janeiro Glow Motion Oil. So same thing, one little pump. And I'm going to hit this collarbone and just lightly buff it in. And it smells amazing. I prefer the smell of Sol de Janeiro to anything. So you can probably tell this is just a sheen and it glitters in the sun and it's just so beautiful. This for me is way too Tin Manny vibe. Like it's just too pigmented for me. So I wiped most of the Huda off. I'm going to apply just the Sol de Janeiro. And that right there is all I'm looking for in a body product. Just a light sheen. So that is really everything that I have to say about the Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Body Highlighter. I hope that my thoughts helped you guys out. It really just depends on personal preference. If you are interested in an all over body highlight and you don't like the overly pigmented formula, then you're going to want to skip out on this. But if you're more interested in this as a highlighter for the face mixing in with other products, then I think you would absolutely love it. And of course, this big size in that aspect will last forever. I hope you guys don't think I'm hating on Huda or anything. I love the brand and I absolutely love this for mixing with foundation. So that is pretty much my wrapped up review. I'm personally glad that I sat back, thought about things, used it a few times before I got on camera and actually uploaded a review because I feel like my thoughts were a little bit too scattered when I tried it on my body didn't like it and kind of just gave up in the last video. But anyways, I will leave everything that I can linked down below if you want to check out any of my favorites or anything that I am wearing on my face. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you want to see more little short tutorials from me. And don't forget that I am running that notification fam giveaway in this video if you want to enter. The rules will also be in the description box. But thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to what I have to say. I'm glad that you guys feel that you can trust me. And for that reason, I hope you know I am never going to lie about a product just because it is sent to me. I'm going to keep it real with you guys always. But that is all that I have to say. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any other videos. And hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye.